Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. My name is Ali Masood Kobir. I'm from Bangladesh. She's from Bangladesh, yes. Hujur, uh, about the, the question I want to ask you that about the Mojeja, the miracles what yes, when we read in in the Surah Bakara about the Moses that he divided the sea. That's right. And when I read the explanation, then I, s I saw that the explanation is given according to our Jamaat that is logical and historical like this. But the, then the question arises in my head that when Muslim al Islam, uh, I don't remember exactly, he wrote something and the God Almighty okay. Allah signed that, yes. then the ink fall That's down. Right. So what is the ex explanation of that? You see, it is not as, uh, your question is very valid. I'm glad that you think very intelligently and ponder over these things. Right. The explanation given by us is a suggestion. Mm -hmm. It could be another explanation. And the recent discoveries, archaeological discoveries, are in fact uh, opening new possibilities as to what might have happened. Right. Because it is reported that about in the time of Moses, in the Mediterranean, a, an island erupted with such force as it sent mountain-like waves rushing towards the Mediterranean soil, Egypt being one of those places which stood by the mouth of the Mediterranean, by the side of the Mediterranean. So some scholars have suggested that that special event must have taken place during that time. The Mojiza was not that Moses crossed the, the sea because it, he crossed at a time when it was the time of the ebb, ebb mm. when the waves had ebbed out and the water from the uh, flow of the Nile was not sufficient to drown the people there because it was a delta area and the water was spread out. But as, Mos as Pharaoh entered, that tidal wave, which was specially created by that explosion in the Mediterranean, mm. that hit Pharaoh and his people. And it, as if it were, the two mountains had got together that was a time when th there was also a wave of flood from the Nile. And sometimes, if in the catchment area of the, of the, of the rivers, there is a great sudden onslaught of rain, then the flood waves sometimes travel in very big height, having a front before them. And this is a common phenomenon known everywhere in the world in the floods. Sometimes a very high tide travels so fast that as if a wall is moving. So that happened. This is Mojza, the timing of the two things. On the one hand, there was a flood tide advancing rapidly towards the mouth of, of River Nile. And on the other hand, the sea swelled because of this great explosion caused in a small island, which was destroyed, in fact. Mm -hmm. The timing of the both was exactly when Pharaoh and his followers were crossing the river Nile. So this is also an explanation. But the explanation does not mean that it, it is naturally possible to have it happen the timing, the organization, the perfect uh, separation of the right from the wrong, while God had promised Moses that you would be saved, all these together make it a moza. So a scientific explanation does not take away the wonder from a moza. It still remains a moza. Now, the moza which you mentioned about Muslim is something which happens Rarely, but does happen. 
and it happens not as a sign of truth to the non-believers. It always happens within the community of the believers. So this is what should be remembered. Such mojizat as are freaks of nature, which we cannot understand. They are never presented to the enemies. They are shown within the community of the believers. Like Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have invited the entire participants in the jihad of uh, um, that uh, Azab, when Azab had got together and the Muslims were around uh, how many thousand? Three th seven thousand or less? No, they were less in number. Anybody remembers? There were certainly more than the participants of an Uhud. Yeah. Because Islam had spread further by the time of Azab. Mm. So all who were involved in digging the channel to separate, uh, to, con to save the Medina, Medina territory from the invading tribes, Hazrat Rasulullah was once invited during those, those days when hunger was striking hard at them by some devout companions of Hazrat Rasulullah whose wife had slaughtered a goat mm. and had cooked some rice and things. And she sent her husband to Rasulullah and conveyed, it was not rice, it was the bread um, which was she was cooking. She sent the message that you come along with a few. Mm -hmm. I have that much food to offer you. So, Ahadru sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, instead of choosing a few, he sent the word to all the people who were involved there in digging the, ten, uh, the tunnel, the, ch the channel. And they all thronged around the house of that lady. Naturally, she was amazed. I don't know what the number exactly was. It couldn't have been a few thousand, but it was still a large number who responded to the call and who reached in time to participate in that food. Rasulullah told her to cover the cauldron where the something was cooked, good meat was cooked, and cover that we call parat, you know, that uh, dish mm -hmm. where uh, flour, needed flour was kept with some cloth. And he prayed over it and said, now start cooking the bread and distributing the food. And very authentic reporters tell us <coughs> that they kept on distributing the food and neither the needed flour ended nor whatever was cooked by our meat in the cold lawn finished until everybody was fed. And when this was over, then there was enough left for the family to eat. <laughs> now, this is something which is not presented for the non-believers' eyes. Such mojizat take place only to increase the faith of those who have already believed. Because about the mojizat, the such mojizat, the Holy Quran says, never have people benefited from mojizat. When have they? Mo Pharaoh and his people, despite seeing so many mojizat, still rejected the truth. And it all happened also at the time of Jesus Christ. He is known to have shown many mojizat. But how many could he convert? Thirty? At most. Yeah. Two of which had renegated, of course. So this is the s nature of mojizat. There is some mojizat are call called khawarik adat. They are freak of nature. They are in breach of, appar apparent breach, not real. Mm -hmm. Apparent breach of the laws of nature. Such mojizat took take place not for the enemy's eyes, but for the eyes of the believers. 
And this is the Mursa which you have mentioned is just one of those. So Huzur, you see on, th on that point the problem comes. One of my friend, I gave him say, the books from, yes, our, right, from yes. Muslim Adal Islam. So he, he told me that he believed Muslim Adal Islam. He is the promised Messiah. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't interested, he didn't say I don't believe like oh. the, uh, all the Khalifas later. Yes, right. Because he said when I also present him the Quran, he said the way it was, the explanation was given that our Jamaat want to show that more logic, you know, the history and more logic like this. So Because the Holy Quran is a logical book. Right, <laughs> but in this point, yes. when I say about the Mo Mojaja, yes. he say Mojaja is like a, you know, it, to him it's like a magic or something. So he keep mm -hmm. believe on that. You see, you, I have told you two incidents. Number one, that which took place in the small room by the side of the mosque Mubarak. Yeah. And the other moza which was seen and witnessed by a large number of people at the time of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But it was not presented to the non-believers, not even quoted to them. There is not a single hadith informing us that Sahaba started telling the non-believers that this is a moza, so you better uh, except the truth of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So there are two different types of mojad. Right. But still, y it is for you to convey as best as you can. Right. If he is not guided, it's not your responsibility. Right? right? right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.